Idaho's wildlife belongs to you. And who are you? In the last two years, 88% of you have given money, resources, or your time to conservation or sportsman organizations. 62% of you have hunted in Idaho. 75% of you have fished here, and 80% of you have taken a trip simply to view or photograph wildlife. This is who you are. This is what was heard. My seven-year-old granddaughter's first experience in Yellowstone Park. And her excitement, her exuberance over seeing and interacting with wildlife made me childlike again. I think that's seeing it through the eyes of a child, uh, understanding their desires to connect with those wild things, to, to be excited. This is a work in progress of people in, in a democracy, free to do whatever we please, working on this, establishing a relationship with nature and with one another. When the community and the conservation infrastructure agencies find a way to work together, remarkable things can be produced. Two stand out. First is funding or to, to be specific, a lack of funding. Second, one of the most troubling challenges that we are facing and that involve the problem of sustaining wildlife long-term, may be the next generation and their indifference. What we all share is a common goal of ensuring that Idaho is home to the wild things and that we have a bright future with forests full of game and streams full of fish. If we ever step out of the picture now, Nature is doomed, everywhere. So please don't think as you put your hands up that you cannot lose what you have just because it means so much to you. But you let that rare, wild thing cross your path and you know it's priceless. They worked out of a sense of urgency, not because they themselves would not still have the chance, but because we would not have the chance. Because it's the right thing to do. We need all citizens to care. We need all citizens to believe. We need all citizens to engage. And we need to again make it understood that to be concerned for conservation is an act of citizenship. I'd much sooner have a world filled with people who are so vitally concerned with wildlife that they fight all the time about it than a world in which nobody gives a damn. Some people say this is just idealism. The world is moved by idealism. This is what you said. I think everybody's going to be under budgetary stress in the future, and they're going to have to figure out, or we're going to have to figure out, how to adequately fund fish and game. August. Um, back east, like, we don't have the access to these things. We don't have the abundance of diversity. There's a chat room set up on our website that allows anybody to participate from the community and um, they've been typing in all kinds of comments in 
in kind of response to what's going on with the live video stream. a lot of people who, you know, I thought would have differences with, but it turns out we have a lot of the same common goals. One of the things that has not been identified yet is, is really how do you define conservation? And, and when that question is answered, everybody has their own, uh, that, then we'll be in the same book. Well, it's just good to have all these folks together that we all love wildlife. And we all really basically kind of want the same thing. We may not realize it. And so it was good to get us at the table talking to each other. This just makes people more honest. Things come more from the heart. And I, it was really great. It was better and more important than I actually thought it was going to be. So I was really glad to be here. I'm a newcomer to the state, so I've got a lot to learn. One thing I've realized is that doesn't seem as apparent to a resident, but to a, a new resident is what a position of strength Idaho already is in public support for wildlife. I mean, that's not true in every state. I expected more argumentation and back and forth, but there's, there's really an incredible amount of agreement on common values, shared values. The thing that surprised me the most was how congenial people were. There was a wide diversity of opinions at every table, and people were respectful uh, and listened and uh, thoughtful uh, in their comments. So I was really impressed by the fact that the divisiveness that had been a concern was not an issue. That every person, whether they hunt and fish or whether they do not, one of the most important things they take away from their days of field it's just that simple experience with wild beauty. What choice do we have, ladies and gentlemen, but to do our part? But in the end, in the end, it's really all about beauty. Idaho's wildlife belongs to me. And me. And me. And me. Hey, wait. That's right. And the Idaho Wildlife Summit is the first step in recognizing how Idahoans can participate in preserving Idaho's abundant wildlife resources. Your involvement serves as both a tribute to those who came before us and a legacy for all of those who will follow. Thank you for making the Idaho Wildlife Summit a success.